Hi guys. The other day we just had the biggest convertible gathering. So of course we call it BBCC because it was held at BBCC, right? Uh, we call it best of the best cabriolet and convertible event. So it became the largest gathering of convertibles in Malaysia and it was such an amazing event. Uh, I get to see so so many many crazy cars even a world war ii wheelie jeep turned up you know and i just collected um something from one of our sponsors of our event the other day so we're so glad that uh real me um has came in and sponsored our event with their brand new phone called real me gt neo 3 Wait, let me, let me get a place to park and uh, so that I can show you all <sighs> what I got. Ta-da! Yep. And uh, it's my first time holding this brand's phone. And this is the box. It's a very large box. Uh, when you think about uh, a lot of newer ones, they have all the small boxes, right? Um, and it's 5G. All right, so what phone is this? This is a high performance, or they call it flagship killer. You know, the kind of phones that has a really good chipset, high spec, everything, but then the price point is not um, at the highest end. Uh, of course, when you look at the price point, you would have guessed that it doesn't have the, the exotic materials like, you know, uni body, aluminum casing, or glass back and all that. But hey, um, if you're aftering performance, and yeah, this should be it. Let's do an unboxing. So let's look through the specs that this one has. Um, 80 watt, they call it super dark charge, but I'll call it hyper fast charging because my Samsung calls their 25 watt charging super fast. But this is 80. It should be hypercharged, right? And uh, Dimensity 8100 5G processor. It's a 5 nanometer chipset. So far from what I heard, the stability and the uh, sustainability in terms of performance of the D8100 chipset uh, is better than the Snapdragon 888. Uh, because, you know, heating issue on mobile chipsets actually affect performance uh, and, and benchmark results don't show all this so if a chipset is able to uh, with, with help is heat performance issue uh, in the long term it's actually better in terms of performance and for its price point it has a dedicated uh, display processor that means there's a processor for all the calculations the processing and all that this guy has a screen refresh rate of 120 hertz all right, and it's Sony camera, Sony sensor. Okay, it has a Sony sensor. Basically, Sony supplies the camera for almost all mobile phones out there. All right, this particular one has eight gigabytes of RAM, but there are options of 12 gigabytes of RAM, and this one has the highest flash disk, uh, two, five, six gigabytes. Again, the selling point of this phone is for gaming. So it's designed to disperse heat uh, prolonged gaming. So let's start with the unboxing. Ta -da! Welcome to Realme family. And then immediately I'm greeted with the phone. Put that aside. I bet the charger is there because 80 watt charging. Oh, very elaborate. All right, it's pretty elaborate in the way it is displayed. You get a clear case inside, very good. Freebies, that's a huge brick. Very, very big. They call it the 80 watt super dart. And 80 is extremely fast. Okay. And then you get a USB-C to USB-A cable. I don't know what's the length. I bet it looks, I don't know, at least a meter. And then you get a little pin in there. And um, that's about it. And then the word, dare to leap. So, the phone is launching in June and uh, you should be able to buy them everywhere by then. Now, there are two colors. This is the really, really nice purplish blue metallic 
finishing at the back. All right, uh, it feels metal, the casing. So this is purplish blue. I'm sure they have a color code for it. And with two racing stripes. There is a white color version with black racing stripe. You see three camera lenses at the back. Of course, there's a main camera, which is huge. And it says 50 megapixel matrix OIS camera. Other phone makers, please, we need more megapixels. All right, 12 doesn't cut it. The build qualities are really nice. All right, so it's, it's like a metal enclosure around the edges. And then you have the front glass is Gorilla Glass 5. I wrote an article about it in, back then. Gorilla Glass came from racing cars. Uh, the company Corning developed the glass for Dodge, Dodge, the American brand Dodge, you know, Dodge Viper, Dodge Charger. They have a performance division called Mopar. And Corning actually developed the glass for Mopar and then later on came to phones. Okay, I mean the screen to phone ratio is, I'm sure this is like 90 over percent, but I think this term was created, which serves no purpose, you know, the screen to body ratio. And there's a punch hole camera. All right, let's turn it on. There we go. Realme powered by Android. Uh, oh yeah, the screen, the refresh rate is 120 hertz. So that's why they call it a gaming phone. AG glass process which reduces light reflection rate from 8% to 5% and uh, reduces fingerprint marks. All right, so yeah, I'm not gonna go through the um, this. This I will leave it to the review video that I would eventually do. I personally would prefer the white. Every time I buy phones, I, if there is a white option, I would pick white. This is nice if you're young, not old like me, you can pick a white one. But uh, I'm beginning to warm up to these type of phones. They, are, they call it flagship killers. If it's not a flagship, you won't get wireless charging. So it doesn't get wireless charging. But this color matches my car. So yep, there we go. Let's put this back in. Wait for my review. This is the unboxing. Thank you so much. Cheers. Speed awakens.